working as a team that is uh, based on collaborative work process, uh, driven by committed leadership, and working with uh, professionals who are eager to share their experience and knowledge, and also are always open themselves to learn something new. Uh, this is something that uh, makes every process effective. And uh, besides, this is something that describes uh, the partners the best. I saw my job not just as like a program implementer, but as like a policy maker. Uh, and so how do we build relationships? How do we build uh, um, buy-in and how to build credibility with our USG stakeholders. Um, and the ways that we do that is by investing in the partners on the ground, right? So like I spend a lot of my time figuring out what does Kemi need in Nigeria? What does um, uh, in, um, Dr. Idara need in Senegal? Like those are the things that really excited me because then we can bring those to the US government and say, when you're thinking of security reform in Nigeria, this is what you should be thinking about and this is who you should be talking to, right? So like I think for me, that really oriented my career about what I could, what I think I as a person in DC could do, uh, not just be a desk officer, but actually help shape policy without being in government. Uh, when I started Partners Serbia 12 years ago, uh, I kind of immediately knew that the time will come uh, when the successor is going to take over. Uh, and I was very lucky that uh, Anna was actually my first uh, associate, assistant. And what is very important, I think, is that She's been with partners for so long and she actually grew together with the organization. For me, it was like a natural uh, uh, next step. Uh, I still think that we're still in transition uh, and that, you know, we kind of uh, uh, took first step as a formal one, uh, performing this like, formal change uh, in the leadership, but we'll, we still cooperate and we still have this uh, some kind of transitional uh, 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 communication or at least uh, 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 coordination that we are uh, performing you know, on a daily basis, which is still necessary uh, for this process. So it uh, has to be gradual and has to be planned uh, mm -hmm. and it has to be, it's good if it's intentional because there are mm -hmm. some transitions that do not happen intentionally, unfortunately. I really remember as a formative moment was when Liz would come through the office at about 5.30 or so, and we'd all be sitting around typing, sending emails, writing reports, whatever, and she would go through, come through and she would say, you know, guys, this is not an emergency room. Please go home. <laughs> and she was, she really just cared about everybody there. And she knew that any of us burning out, any it would, what was no good for the long term. How to develop the ability of being very much connected with what is happening, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and at the same time, be connected with that uh, a scenario, that uh, future that I, I wish to live with the, the rest of them, with the rest of the people. And connecting that, those two things, made me able to listen better and not only the fears and of the present and but also the hopes and work with that because that hope uh, those hopes are our uh, fabric never do a to get to b you always are doing a with the thought of how that's going to get you to c and d because that longer term view, that kind of eye on the horizon and that um, that vision for where you want to get to is what's going to carry you through. If you're just doing A to get to B, you're sort of losing opportunities, you're, you're missing things. And so that's always stuck in my head when I'm designing projects, when I'm working with community organizations, when I'm working with foundations, it's like, we're doing this right now, but what's that what's that thing that purpose that larger vision that we're working towards that c that we're trying to get to and yes there'll be some b's you know in the middle but don't keep your eye on that you know keep your eye on that on that longer term goal